Hi everyone, I'm Lily's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at our fire sign zodiacs for your next seven days. It's not going to resonate with everyone, so take what does and leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising and your Venus signs as well. And remember to look out for the uh, full solar eclipse on the 8th of April as well. Okay. All right, so let's start with our Aries. Okay, so we're going to take a look at your next seven days. What do we have for my amazing Aries out there? Oh, okay. We have believe in the impossible and we have confidence is your key to success. That is a new moon in Leo. All right, so maybe you guys are really trying to visualize something. You're trying to meditate a lot or you're really trying to sort of manifest something big, great um, into your life and you're just like, mm, is it really going to happen? But at the end of the day, believe in the impossible. And then when you know you can like charge forward with something, then go for it. All right, so let's take a look at your energy over the next seven days, Aries. Oh, oh. We've got man holding a coin and all tied up, okay? So you guys are, you know, wrapped up in somebody um, who is quite stable in their lives, like maybe professionally and things like that. Um, but you kind of feel like you can't get out of this person's grip or this hold that maybe they kind of have over you. But it does look like you're free to go, you know? <laughs> like, it's not like you're being held here against your will. This is like a choice that you've made. Okay, let's see, Aries. <clears throat> oh yes, we've got atoms. So we are building here, okay? I feel like, Aries, you've let go you using your voice i feel like lately you've let go of a lot of things that were weighing you down maybe you didn't even realize they were weighing you down until you kind of like had a pause um, took like a little step back from what was going on and now it's like you can it's like you know you need to now lighten your load like you can't it's like that saying you can't take everyone with you you can't take everything with you you know sometimes the more stuff you take on or the more problems you take on or the more people you take on just you end up sinking all right so it's like you're rebuilding and moving forward in a new way as well there's a lot of speaking your truth over the next seven days um but i think for a lot of you it's going to be in a good way as well like people want to hear your opinions your ideas on things um you know maybe you're going to be speaking up more about your past and things that have been going on and stuff like that but you really are sort of that throat chakra is opening up for you over the next seven days. All right. And let's take a look at what is going to be restricting you. Like some of you, you're just going to have to get used to saying, no, I can't. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> can't do it. Focus. Yes. So over your next seven days, that's why they're saying don't get involved in other people's heavy loads or the, any drama they're carrying. Stay focused, okay? Believe in the impossible because I do feel like you guys are on the brink of greatness here, all right? Or something that you're heavily trying to pursue is about to come into your life. All right, so let's take a look, Aries, your next seven days. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm seeing the number three a lot and hearing the number three so i feel like that's going to have some significance for you over the next seven days as well we've got high priestess we've got page of swords justice the hangman two of pentacles the fool oh page of wands and the king of cups so yeah it's like you're seeing this person um you're seeing the situation uh, from a different perspective and I feel like that pause you had where you offloaded some maybe internal things you're now looking externally like okay what needs to go who needs to go who's not matching my alignment of where I'm trying to go or your vibration or whatever okay um, there is definitely like a secret going on here that you've kind of been keeping all right but you're kind of going back and forth about the situation yeah eight of swords I feel like you're a little bit stressed out about it but we got the chariots. Yeah. 
And this is the thing. I feel like someone's coming in with like a really big kind of gesture on how to like move things forward quite vigorously, I feel like. And there's this opposition. So I feel like you're going to be sort of bumping heads with somebody who, um, I don't know, I feel like there's someone around you who just wants to have it all. Okay, they're almost in that devil kind of possessive energy or a little bit like obsession kind of energy of sort of needing to keep things where they are, you know, but also trying to push things forward as well at the same time. Maybe this person kind of fears that you're going to sort of swing away from them, you know, like someone else is going to be coming forward to you. This person does have like a, a proposition for you over the next seven days as well. But we got the sun, we got Hierophant, and we've got Page of Cups. Okay, so I feel like there's an amazing offer that is heading your way. Um, I'm hearing it's the decision maker. Okay, so it's not really something that you need to jump through a lot of hoops to get um, or being passed off around to other people to make this decision. This is like, no, a decision has been made. And here you go. The universe is handing that to you, okay? So keep visualizing, keep meditating, whatever this thing is. Keep manifesting because within the next seven days, there's like a really beautiful breakthrough for you, okay? Aries, I feel like there's someone here who's coming towards you as well to like step. I don't think it's just this person. I feel like there's someone else here who is coming back into your life. I do feel like this person is married. Okay. And I think, you know what? I think it's them. I feel like you've got two. I feel like you've got two people who might be in a relationship with you, but it's like a secret relationship. They're juggling you, but you're also juggling them. And I feel like there's someone else here who wants to proposition you with something. So you could end up juggling both. <laughs> okay. Or you could kind of choose one, maybe the one that's more less stressful, okay, or whatever you're going to benefit more out of. I reckon you'll, you'll do that. Sagittarius, Cancer, Libra, Pisces, Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Aries. Okay, let's see. Yes. So if you was kind of going through a time where uh, things weren't really doing too well for you in your business or it was a bit slow or whatever it is, OK, because you are so honest and genuine and authentically yourself, I feel like it really just comes through with what you're doing. And that's why your community is growing. Um, more people are taking an interest in what you're doing as well. Yes, you're definitely going to be feeling more stable okay, in the foundations that you have already laid. And then we have the two masculines here, okay, who are thinking about you distant horizons, okay. I just kind of think they're getting carried away in their own heads, all right, and not really including you in those thoughts, but like I said, I feel like they will be. You also have a third person here as well who's admiring you so, so much, okay. And someone else feels like they need to come in and kind of fight their case. This is somebody you haven't seen in a long time. They're really concerned that you guys aren't in a good space, um, but they also feel like there needs to be justice, like karma balanced out in this situation. All right, so the next seven days, Aries, I feel like you've got a lot going on with people, okay, kind of coming back, propositioning you, I can give you this, 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 and that. It's very much you decide, you know, what you want to do. or if you do both. <laughs> it's your choice, Aries. Hmm? Making sure it's on. Okay, so let's see. I miss you. Mm -hmm. Somebody misses you so much. <clears throat> Ooh, reckless love. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I just think there's there's a, some situations around you that are secretive and 
you know, whether you're kept a secret or you're keeping this person a secret, you know, someone from the past feels like they've had to kind of like go sort of hot and cold with you because it's too intense or they miss you too much or they find themselves coming towards you, right? Um, but we have somebody's like coming out of their feelings, all right? This person was quite stubborn and selfish and arrogant, but they're kind of changing all of that now. They, I don't know, I just feel like all of these people seem to be thinking about you a lot. All right, what was next? I can't remember. I can. Okay. No. <clears throat> Oh, wow. Look at that. We have opportunity. Look at that raining down on you, Aries. I feel like you've worked hard. You deserve this. Okay, stay focused. And we've got this situation will improve. All right, so things are just going to start to sort of get better and better for you, Aries. Okay, I'm really hearing like go the distance, you know, like almost like a cheetah <laughs> getting tired as they get into the finish line because, you know, They've really exhausted themselves with what it is that they're doing, but they just need to push themselves to that finish line. And here you are, Aries. Well done. Okay, we've got renewal. Review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future. Understand in your life purpose, releasing judgments of yourself and others. We've got you have what it takes if you only believe in yourself, thinking that you're powerless when you're not. A lack of self-confidence, okay, that keeps you from getting what you want. Right, hold on. Oh, here we go. Okay. Children or childhood, the return of people or romances from your past, remembering events differently in a better or worse light than how they really occurred. Ooh, they're coming. They're coming. <laughs> they are laying it down for you, Aries. Really, they are. Okay. Let's pull you some guidance. What do we have for Aries over the next seven days? We've got blessed. Okay, blessed, honey. All right, let's see. Okay, something wonderful that is unearned and unexpected, grace that is unforeseen, a gift from spirit, wow. Let's look at prosperity, unexpected windfalls and good fortune come your way now. You're in a phase where any difficulties or obstacles that have stimulated your success seem to disappear on their own. Be ready to receive, the windows of opportunity will open wide. Accept the blessings given to you now and don't forget to share them. Okay, I also want to read relationship for you because I feel like you're getting these offers, like, obviously, at the same time. You are moving towards a deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know that you are meant to make this connection. This union, blessed by the divine, will be transforming um, beauty into the world. This is also a sign that, even more important, you're being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. Oh, that's sweet. Keep giving out that love, Aries, okay? Keep being you, honey. All right, and uh, let's pull you an angel message. Okay, what do we have for Aries? We have fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass trees, plants, and flowers. Spend some time outside today um, as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. Okay. Okay, guys, I feel like if you go out a lot over the next seven days, there's. I feel like children are going to be inspiring you in some way. Like you're taking more notice of the youthful energies that you have around you. If you don't have any children, it's like you're really sort of getting into that playful sort of fun um, element about being a child again. Um, 
uh, and even you know you might even end up doing something that reminds you of your childhood as well within the next seven days so children are going to be a massive thing for you okay but just sort of take that as confirmation you're on the right path okay um have some fun okay all right so now we're going to move on to leo all right so leo this is going to be your next seven days what do we have for you all right it's not going to resonate with everyone take what does leave what doesn't check your sun moon rising and check your venus sign what do we have for leo Okay, so Leo, we have, um, let me put you guys back. Okay, so Leo, we have your hard work is paying off. That is a new moon in Capricorn. Gosh, Leo, you guys are always in your go-getting kind of energy, you know? I like that. <laughs> always like, yep, yeah, what's next? I need more. All right, let's take a look at your energy for the next seven days, Leo. Ah, this is your card, Angel of Strength, all right? So, you know, you might face some challenges coming up, but you just need to be brave, face them head on, keep moving forward on your goals. Um, don't let anything kind of stop you or get in the way, all right? It's almost like, you know, they say before something amazing happens, then usually some, you know, foolishness will come up, try to throw you off course. But they're saying, don't let that happen, Leo. Ah, oh, we got family, home, and comfort, okay? So try and stay in that kind of energy of all the things that make you feel good, okay? And um, that feed your soul. <laughs> um, yeah, th I mean, this could even be like good food, good company. You know, this could just be chilling at home, doing your favorite things, watching your favorite movies, cooking your favorite stuff, you know? Maybe it's a girl's night, it's a guy's night, it's just, you know, all positive energy needs to be coming into your week, all right? So however you do that is up to you. Okay, so we're going to take a look at, oh, I feel like some of you are wanting to get type, some type of pet or animal. I feel like some of you are considering this. Some of you might be babysitting an animal. That's not babysitting then, is it? Pet sitting. Oh, oh okay. So what is against you, okay? Um, you kind of closing the book on some things because you feel like, you know, it's already been done or I've already tried and it just didn't work. Um, coming to your own conclusions without doing the research on something because you think you know, you know, best or you heard this or you read that, but you actually kind of need to get more information, okay? You also need to learn how to step away from things that you are doing over the next seven days, even if this is your business, okay? It's just so you can let something breathe, think about it, come back with a renewed energy. That's why in your downtime, I feel like they're saying you need to be in uplifting presence and uplifting kind of energy, all right? Because there's something about you that you don't wanna change the way you're doing something. It just feels quite rigid. You know, like they almost ask you to be a little bit more flexible in your approach, hearing people out, things like that. Okay, so let's see, Leo, your next seven days, honey. Page of Cups, King of Cups, Two of Wands, Ooh, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Six of Wands, Four of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, I think um, yeah, I feel like you're taking a lead in a situation here where you wanted someone to come back, you wanted this relationship to do what it was supposed to do. Um, I don't know if this person just came back to feel like, oh, I got this person back or I'm back in their life or even though I did some foul shit to them, like, it's okay because they forgive me now and everybody can see that, you know. I feel like in this situation, this person just didn't want to look like the bad guy, yeah. But at the end of the day, you're turning your focus more to, you know, building your foundation up, okay. And I feel like you guys have done a really good job by that, by doing that by yourself anyway. 
you know, and you're feeling like walking away from this current situation, or maybe you already have, but there's like this sort of struggle, this push and pull, do I leave, do I stay, do I go? But I think it's just more about you having that confidence and strength within yourself to know that you have everything you need to move on, to be successful, and to really make a life for yourself. So I think this person is kind of coming in with an apology, but I also feel like they just want to get you back into more of a vulnerable position, okay? Because this person does miss your warmth, your, your energy, your love, all that kind of stuff, okay? But you are almost prepared for this person coming back, okay? It's like you know you're in a cycle with them and you're ready to just kill Bill up on their ass, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, y'all. <laughs> we all in this. <laughs> all right, let's take a look, Leo. Don't let anyone rush you into anything, all right? Just take that time to check yourself, remove yourself, do what you got to do. Yeah, because we got false person. But I feel like you know this about your person. All right, but they come back as if they've got some maturity or some wisdom here. All right, but for a lot of you financially, you probably are doing better than them or you've got more job security or, you know, all that kind of stuff. Some of you, you're just, you're about to buy a new car or you're buying a new car. There's like an upgrade that you've been doing bit by bit and it's probably annoying this person and some other people. All right, and they almost don't want to be the person that's left behind. But this is what I'm saying, it's just, it's just about them not looking like they're the weak link or they're the bad guy. Yeah, but you've got more maturity and more wisdom here as well, okay? And I feel like there's someone coming in, if you haven't met them already, who's going to be a bit more vocal with you over the next seven days about, you know, how they can help you or how they want to be in your life. This person, to me, they do come across quite honorable, okay? Um yeah, just supportive. Any legal things as well, some of you guys could be dealing with that. Just get someone to help you handle it, who knows what they're doing, what they're talking about. Try not to get overly emotionally invested, even if this is about your children, property, money, whatever, okay? Stay focused on taking that time to breathe out, spending some time with your family and your friends, okay? Your person, they just come up as like, Somebody who just wants to have fun all the time, you know? There could even be like another child out there that you don't even know about when it comes to this person. But we've got sweet talk. But you see, look, and legal matters, criminal property, paternity, child support, traffic ticket, whatever that is, right? But we do have Queen Bee, secure, confident, boss bitch, career focused, all right? So you haven't dropped that side of you. Okay, but if you allow this person back up into your psyche, into your life, in your bed... Okay, they hinder all of your creative thoughts and stifle your creativity really and truly. So you don't need them, all right? Causing drama. You've got your hard work is paying off, and that's what you need to stay focused on. We've got look for a sign. All right, so even th meeting this other person popping up is kind of like, oh, God, maybe I should be going in that direction. You know, it's it's, it's like the things, um, right place, right time, things are happening, you know, as it should be. You can't see it coming, but it's all good. You just kind of need to act, all right, when these epiphanies go off. Leo. We have a windfall of money, advice, or assistance from others, a very successful project, a happy change in your career. We've got no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision, confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. We've got have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next step. Imprudent investment of time and money. And then we've got the dreamer. <laughs> we've got embrace your true purpose, begin a new adventure, and trust yourself. I like this, Leo. It's getting good. Okay, let's read you some guidance. 
do we have for Leo? We've got TikTok. TikTok. Let's see. Okay, so we have timelessness, divine timing, and measurable time. Let's look at protection. Have you been feeling as if the clock is ticking and gotten a little nervous that your dreams are taking too long to manifest? There is nothing to fear. You will never run out of time for the important things. The miracles that are yours and yours alone can't be missed. Isn't that amazing? You're in such capable hands with guides and angels hovering in the visible spaces, ensuring that your journey will be filled with all sorts of goodies. Let your anxiety be gently dispelled by your faith. Spirit will never deny you your highest good. All is yours in divine appropriate timing. You can relax. <laughs> there you go. That's good to hear. I feel like you needed to hear that. And let's get you an angel message, Leo. And good luck. Keep pushing forward. You've got assertiveness. This situation can be healed gently and with love, as you've requested, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. Okay, so I feel like your confirmation this week is music, Leo. I'm hearing so many songs. I'm hearing like, you could just be even in a daydream and then there's a lyric to a song that you just sort of hear with the song playing and you're like oh so you know like looking for a sign and stuff i feel like music is going to be your best friend okay this could even be an instrument that you're really drawn to that maybe you even played as a child you're going to be hearing it a lot more um it just feels like music is going to be your guide over the next seven days i love it Okay, so let's move on. We're going to move on to Sagittarius. All right, Sag, this is going to be your seven days ahead. Uh, it's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising. Check your Venus signs. All right, what do we have for you, Sagittarius, next seven days ahead? Okay, we have meditate and contemplate. Emotions are running high. And we have a new moon in Pisces. Okay, I'm, I'm sensing just like a bit of level of frustration more than anything in this reading. Like someone's almost kind of losing themselves. Temple, tem what is it? Sorry, temple path. I just need to dip off safe. Um, I, I feel like you're either dealing with someone or this could be you that, that just keeps going off the track. You know, that really just needs to realign what their responsibilities are supposed to be. Okay, maybe they've forgotten what their priorities are. Um, and they just kind of seem to go around in circles with things. And I feel like that is what is causing a lot of frustration in your life or when it comes to dealing with this person. All right. So let's have a look at the overall energy. It's, it's almost like this person's one way one time and then at the other end of the spectrum another. There's no in between. There's no middle ground for this person. Again, this could be you or the person you're dealing with. Yeah, the thinking man. Mm -hmm. I, I just think this person is just selfish. Yeah, they're, they're only thinking, of, yeah, they're just thinking about themselves, what benefits them, what their needs are. Um, they're, not, they're not looking around them at what is actually really going on with you, the situation. Um, I feel like you guys are being guided back together for a reason. I do feel like that. But I feel like this person needs to kind of come to Jesus moment soon. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they need to do. But there is this path of enlightenment that has opened up for them again. Again, remember, this could be you. But there is a path of enlightenment here. And that might even be you coming back into their life, you know? Yeah, we've got dark matter. All right. I don't... I, I feel like you could just be, wa I don't want to say you're wasting your time, but, but I feel like you're in a space where you don't know what's going to happen with this person. You don't know where this is really going to go. Um, someone here is fighting some kind of demons as well. Um, and it's not that you shouldn't be there and support this person. It's like, how much time are you going to dedicate to them? I feel like there's a lot of things that you're not focusing on as a result of 
you know, this relationship or wanting to be back with this person. Um, you know, and yeah, just maybe this person or maybe you are just not disciplined enough. Okay, in wanting to kick some bad habits or wanting to just sort of, you know, realign yourself for your highest good. Okay. <clears throat> I just feel like don't let those seven days run away with you without doing something for yourself. Okay. Because it's easy to do that. And then a week goes by, another week, another week. Then you've got a month and you did nothing for yourself but focus on somebody who wasn't even focusing on their own stuff or their own problems. Okay. So, you know. Yeah, we got, look, it's complicated. All right, but how long is this going to be complicated for? Where is the resolve? I feel like that's what we're trying to find out here, okay? And there's no point in you just labeling it. Oh, it's complicated. Oh, it's complicated. Again, your time is being wasted, all right? It's, it's not so much maybe that you and this person shouldn't be together, just they need to figure some things out and actually put some action in, okay? Because I do feel like their emotions are all over the place, which is causing your emotions to kind of be all over the place. Someone is not in a stable mind. They seem quite fragile. Even if they're not showing that, they are. Yeah, we've got this King of Wands here. Look at that. Virgo, sorry, Hermit, Nine of Wands and the Tower. It could be, like I said, this person's, something's coming in for them where they kind of have to face something about themselves, you know, because whatever they're neglecting to do is causing an event in their lives where it's like, mm, you let yourself down there, you did this, you did that. Yeah. There is definitely some healing coming to this person, all right? I, I just want to say, like, rock bottom. I feel like they're hitting rock bottom, but which isn't necessarily a bad thing. This is something that is being hidden by the moon, so this is something that they haven't told you about, okay? But like a tower is coming out, but there is this healing that is coming as a result of that. Yes. And also, while this person is having a tower moment, yeah, this could be like the father of your child or something like that. Or, you know, again, they could have had a child and not told you about it, which is this tower, which is this truth, the light coming into the situation, you know. Um, and then uh, meanwhile, back at the ranch, you've also got somebody else who's coming right back in. Look at that wheel of fortune. Someone feels sad. Someone feels like, you know, should they be giving things more time? And with that seven of swords, someone here hasn't stopped checking on you looking back for you, keeping tabs on you, getting information on you, honey. So we got Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, let's see. God, this is going to seem a little bit deep, but I even feel like this person has suffered a loss and didn't get to tell anyone about it. I don't know if they had lost a child or something, but nobody knew. Yeah, some of you, just be careful that you're not sort of being trapped and imprisoned into this situation, okay, because this person can't afford to let you go again, right? And then you still have this other person coming in, saying, look, we need to talk, we need to meet up, you know, or maybe we need to go out and do something here, okay? Yeah. Um, whatever is also going on in your person's life, they have to stop. Like, if this is something dodgy or naughty that they're doing for work a little bit on the side or they're not revealing what they really make and blah, 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 I feel like trouble is kind of coming their way because of it. Okay, Sagittarius. Yeah, not happy. It's sad though because I, I don't know. I, I, I do feel it for this person. I feel like there's a lot of things that they're not happy about, and we've got fake busy, but happily living single. <laughs> but this is what I mean. I feel like it's all a front here. We've got the divine masculine. 
But round and round, cycles, triggers, lessons. Let's just hope. Yeah, self-love. Maybe you know what as well. I feel like they just didn't receive the love they needed from their parents. Or, you know, people who said they loved them just didn't really love them. And this is, you know, the severity of, like, what they're going through. I feel really, like, teared up and choked up for them. You know, it, it, it gives me the vibe of them doing everything for everyone, but nobody does it for them. So for some of you, you may have a breakthrough with this person. They might actually shed some tears. Either they're going to get so drunk and they're just going to cry about what it is they're really sad about. We've got ask your angels, okay? You can ask your angels how to support this person. You can ask your angels how you can help connect them more spiritually. Okay, yeah, look, trust with how they can trust in the higher self or higher powers that be. I do think there's a lot that you could bring into this person's life about spirituality um, and things like that. And just making them see things, you know, their life choices from a different perspective and supporting them in that, you know. All right, so let's pull y'all some guidance. No, not yet. Let's pull you some messages, Sagittarius. We've got a financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter of your cause. We've got walk away from dishonest associations, realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness, something that's not worth the effort. Mm. I feel so sad for this person. Oh. An emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely and people you can trust. Mm. <sighs> but we did say you got two of them, honey. Okay, now let me pull you some guidance. I can do that. We've got Observer. Perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. Hmm. Maybe I'll read protection. I'll read protection. Ever think sometimes your life options are suction cupped to your face and you can't see beyond yourself? There's a big world out there, a multitude of potential realities that you're unable to perceive at present. So you're a little stuck. It's time to get advice from someone you trust, someone who has a better perspective on your circumstances. Other points of view are needed now before you move forward. Take heart. A beautiful vista is waiting for you to drink it in. You just need a little help widening your scope beyond your small self. Yes. Okay, don't take someone back out of fear or worry that you're going to be alone, that you're not going to be with somebody and, you know, all that kind of stuff. They don't want that for you. I'm going to pull you an angel message for my Saji. Sagittarius. We've got notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and never alone. Okay, so even as you kind of go through over the next seven days into sort of this dark matter space where you kind of can't see what's going on, it looks a bit scary, it looks a bit dark, just know that your angels are sending you signs to say, look, we're here. We can pull you out at any moment. You can change the energy flow at any moment or your environment or the people in it. All right. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I love you all so much. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye.